couple steps that we usually do right before we do a jailbreak just to make sure everything runs smoothly. And that means that we wanna turn off our passcode. So if we go into our settings and we jump back out here and we tap on touch ID and passcode, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. So there's absolutely no touch ID and we wanna turn off our passcode as well. So we'll just tap right here, turn that off, type in our passcode and make sure you don't have touch ID uh, enabled as well. Next, let's just go into airplane mode. That way we don't have any issues whatsoever. And then you should be good to go. So now what you wanna do is on your computer is actually go to this website right here. Of course, I'll link that in the description below for you guys. And then what you wanna do is just click on this green button right here to download it. And I'll actually do uh, an upload of this tool, uh, basically just a direct download just so you guys can download it a whole lot faster because this took me about 30 minutes to download and I have a really fast internet connection just because it's getting hit so hard right now so look in the description below for that link and I'll be sure to hook you guys up for as long as I can until that link gets too saturated and they take it down so now at this point we've downloaded the tool and I put it on my desktop right here so now what we want to do is right click on it and run as administrator so make sure that your device is obviously plugged into your computer and then all you have to do is click this button right here. So once we click on that, you can see that it's going through the process of loading up here. And then you can click on this button and this should launch the application. So once that loads up, you'll see one big green button. This is the jailbreak button. I know everything's in a different language, so it's hard to understand, but this is a pretty obvious button you can click on. So you just click on that and then it should start the jailbreaking process. So once you click on this, it will take actually a little while in order for this to uh, load up and prepare. My assumption is that it's actually hitting something remotely and it's getting hammered so hard that it's actually taking a while, but it's really hard to tell uh, with these uh, different language words on the button here. All right, so you can see right here that it's asking for my Apple ID. So go ahead and enter your Apple ID right here. I know it's a little sketchy because it's in a different language, but basically what this is doing is using your Apple ID to input the profile on your device. So you'll hear, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. And then it should go back to this screen here. All right, so once it's done, you'll get a little smiley face right here, as you can see, and you can just click this green button. So what you wanna do is it'll actually launch you into your profiles and device management. So you'll see you have your basically developer app, so it'll have just whatever Apple ID you put in there. So you can just tap on that and then you tap on trusting that developer. So you just tap trust and then you should be good to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if it starts hanging on you know your screen, on your computer screen for you know 10 minutes or so, go ahead and stop it and then restart it because I did that and I waited about 30 minutes, no joke, I waited 30 minutes uh, before I actually restarted it. Then when I restarted it, it actually went through in probably five minutes or less. So that's just something to keep in mind. So, and if it gives you this issue right here, that's because we are actually in airplane mode. So at this point, we don't have to be in airplane mode anymore. Go ahead and tap on verify and then verify again and it should go ahead and verify that app. So now we can swipe over here and open this up and then you just want to make sure you allow notifications. So just tap OK. And then we can just tap right in the middle here and it should jailbreak the device. So here we can just actually go to our lock screen. So if it reboots your device immediately and you swipe to unlock and you still don't see Cydia or anything like that, then what we want to do is just open up this once again and we're going to allow notifications and then we're going to tap right here. So now we can go to our lock screen and you can see that the jailbreak has started once you get that notification. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one and then what we want to do is allow this to do its thing. So we're not going to do anything. We're not going to reboot it. We're not going to unplug it. We're not going to slide to unlock. So just keep that in mind that we want to keep everything right here on the lock screen. Let us do its thing until it restarts just like that. And then once it reboots, you should slide over here and you should see Cydia installed. So you'll see Cydia right here. So if we tap on that, it should go ahead and load up. And if we swipe all the way down, you can see I'm on 9.3.2. Again, you probably want to be on 9.3.3. And then the first thing that you want to do is actually install uh, Apple File Conduit 2. So we're going to go into search 
and we're going to search for Apple File Conduit 2. So we want to install this because this is absolutely necessary in order to actually re-jailbreak your device once either your device dies or you reboot your device. So again, like I said, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So since we've installed Apple File Conduit 2, now we can restart our springboard. So it's resprung, and we swipe over here. You can see if we tap on City, it's still going to work, but the only thing that's not going to work is once we reboot. So if we go ahead and reboot our device, what you're going to want to do is go into this application and then re-jailbreak your device. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot it just to show you guys exactly what you have to do and how it works. All right, so we're rebooting now, and the splash screen should go away here in just a second. And once it comes back, you'll notice that you're not jailbroken anymore once you can't actually open up Cydia. So if we try to open up Cydia, you can see that it's crashing. So you'll see if we also try to open up PP, that's not going to work either. So what you want to do is open up this application, and then you don't have to be connected to your computer. This is all going to take place right there on your device. So if we go ahead and unplug it, and then we just tap right here, it's actually going to go through the exact same process. So all you have to do is just go back to your lock screen here, and you should get a notification, and it's going to respring just like this, and it's going to work. So now when we slide to unlock, we'll swipe over here. You can see if we open up Cydia, it's going to work just fine.